peeling apples to make applesauce, and this is the handy dandy apple peeler and core. It just takes the core right out, cuts it into slices, and then we just dice it up and throw it in the pot to make the applesauce. But there's the peel and the core. And then we just cut it in half and cut it in quarters and throw it in the pot. Half of that's gone. Got the apples cooking down now. This is going to be applesauce. We're also probably going to do some apple pie filling and some apple butter. We still have all that to go. Oh yeah. It's nice. Cooking down. It's getting there slow but sure. Day two. We're still cooking it down. But it's getting there. Today, along with the applesauce, we're going to do some first off a load of uh, apple pie filling. These are the apple slices soaking in water and lemon juice. I'm going to be filling seven of those. And over here, she's making the syrup for the packing of the apple pie filling. There's four and a half cups of sugar and a cup of uh, cornstarch to help thicken. And we're gonna add at least a tablespoon of cinnamon. Might add a little more, we really like cinnamon. And a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of butter, and 10 cups of water and then you're going to cook that syrup until it's thick and you'll pack the apple slices in the jar leave about an inch of head space and then you'll fill it with the syrup yep it's becoming applesauce pie filling syrup still thickening It's the premiere of the CBS Thursday Comedy Power Hour with a new episode of The Big Bang Theory. Well, it's about the right consistency for canning now. <laughs> Cinnamon applesauce. Here we go, leaving about an inch of head space right there in the jar. Now where she's packing it with the, the syrup, it's thick enough. And what it's going to look like is like that. And then we're going to take this, put it in the canner. And we're going to can this for about 25 minutes once it gets boiling. Apple pie slices. Apple sauce. Got a little bit more, a few other, a little bit of uh, apple pie slices, so we can them up too. Once it comes to a boil, 20 minutes. Here we go folks. This is the first batch of applesauce. Got this over here. That over there. Doing up another pot of it. About what we got left. Probably do half of that. There's applesauce. And we'll cook down the rest as apple butter. Heh <laughs> Oh, it's smelling good. That's going to be apple butter. I'll just give you an idea how big that pot is. <laughs> apple butter, good. It's 
still cooking down that one batch of apples. It's been about 18 hours. Almost ready for apple butter. Getting there. Wait, wait. Here we go, folks. It's time to can up this beautiful batch of apple butter. It's ready. Well, we're finally at the processing stage. First load in. Got half pints and little teasers. Little teasers are gifts. We're going to process this, but I'm thinking 20 minutes. We'll confirm it a little bit. For the next load, we're going to be bartering this. Got something you'd like to trade for? We'll show you the sizes. Got the first batch going. There's the second batch right there, getting ready to go. I think we got a couple more batches in there. Yeah, just a couple more. We decided 15 minutes we were going to do these on. Well, we're about ready to pull this stuff out. And remember, we still got that much left in the pot. I think we got several half points. Half points, right? I know the lighting sucks, but that's the first batch. We got six. What the hell you call these little things? Quarter pints. And we got six half pints. We got this one filled with three, six, nine half pints and three pints. We'll probably have seven pints in the next load. making an apple cheesecake bar today and what I've got for the base I mixed together a cup of flour with a quarter cup of packed brown sugar and a half cup of butter and I just mixed that all together uh, until it was a fine crumb and patted it into the bottom of a nine inch square pan we've got the oven preheated to 350 and we're going to bake that for 12 to 14 minutes just till it's a, a light brown. And I've got the cheesecake filling started in the bowl. There's one 8 ounce package of cream cheese softened. Uh, one egg, a quarter cup of sugar, and a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. And when I'm beating that together, you want to get it as smooth as you can. And that will layer onto the base when it comes out of the oven. And we'll pick up from there. Okay, the base is done. You can see it's just starting to get a light brown around the edges. That's all you want. <clears throat> then you're going to pour your cheesecake filling over the top. 
I'm still a little lumpy because I added the egg before I had the sugar all mixed in, but it'll all even out in the baking. I'm just going to spread this over it as evenly as you can, and then we're going to add us some apples and some streusel topping. What I've got in the bowl is the recipe calls for two small Granny Smith's diced fairly finely. I had one big Cortland, so I'm only using the one apple. I've added a tablespoon of sugar, and the recipe calls for a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I used that, and then I added an extra quarter teaspoon of cinnamon because we like things a little spicy around here. We're going to just sprinkle this as evenly as you can over top of the base. And then we have a streusel topping that we're going to put on top of that. And you just spread it out as evenly as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now we've got a streusel topping. What I've got is a half cup of flour, a half cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of old-fashioned oats, and a quarter cup of softened butter. And I've just mixed it together till it's very fine. And we're going to sprinkle that over the top. And then we're going to put it back in the oven at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. We'll check it at 25 and see if it's done. Good. Ready to go in the oven. And that's what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. What are we doing today? We're just going to can some apple slices. I've just packed a quart jar with some uh, peeled and sliced apples. going to put a little bit of lemon juice in there, cover it with water, and we're going to can it just as is. Oh yeah. The way we're packing this up, down the road, when we run out of stores of applesauce, we can make up small batches of applesauce or large ap batches of applesauce. She wants to make some apple butter. Again, it just cooks down a little bit longer. And if you want apple pie, well, all you got to do is add the seasoning.